by now you all have all seen the walk around video of the 2024 bajaj pulsar n250 in this video particularly we are going to talk about how this motorcycle rides and behaves so come on join this journey with this superb motorcycle i have been riding this motorcycle for some time here on the highways and on the busy streets of pune and i have been decently impressed with this new offering by bajaj that's the n250 well talking about the engine the engine seems to be pretty smooth all over apart from when the rpm climbs over 5000 rpm then the motorcycle tends to become wibbly right on the foot pegs to the handlebar there's too much of wind today so just adjust with that guys the heat management seems to be pretty good and i i haven't felt any kind of heat onto my thighs on or onto my legs i'm wearing uh, not very tall boots today talking about the engine well you get a 249 cc air oil cooled engine wherein what i observed was it gets a little yb push 5000 rpm and initially you have that kind of a little push which dies out in the mid and top end so there is no top end as such uh, this is supposed to be a commuter not a very sporty machine for the sportiness you have the other ns series uh, where you can push yourself to the limits the mirrors are a little small for my liking but uh, i am able to see the rear pretty okay not a very clear side that is the mirror seems to be a little tapered this side obviously for aesthetic reasons the console the lcd console seems to sit pretty nice there a little smaller for my liking but uh, it's doing its job pretty okay not not really very good during the actual sunlight hitting it so i haven't used it at night so i cannot tell you all how it looks at night but in the day it seems to be doing an okay okay kind of a job well uh, talking about the brakes what i found was the brakes were a little spongy when i'm on the highest speeds when i'm on the lower speeds they tend to be pretty okay so i did not have any kind of issues with the brakes as such they are pretty okay the dual channel abs system works pretty okay and nicely the motorcycle seems to be pretty tactable if you see let me just reduce the speed to your to y'all i'm around 45 now and i'm on the top gear that's fifth is the top gear there's no sixth gear in this so there you go pulls up pretty okay i'm on a little bit of an incline and uh, i was able to take the motorcycle above 120 125 and that was it because it gets too windy after that after 100 in fact it gets pretty windy it's a naked motorcycle and not it in and not in its perfect place to do that kind of a thing especially with the cross winds blowing in there you go take some time to throttle doesn't like go off from the time you to okay there is where i felt the usds if those were telescopic folks i would have easily gone on that speed breaker very easily but that took a bump so that reminded me that these have usds 
for that aggressive kind of riding uh well moving on to the uh, seating position wherein if i show you all i'm 5 10 i'm flat footed it's a 800 mm seat height the seats are pretty nice uh not very soft not very hard seem to be pretty decent and this is how i sit on this so there, there's a little bit of aggression to how i sit in the manner uh, i have leaned out a little if not too much and if you see my uh, feet too they have also that kind of curvature with that kind of an aggressiveness so if you're those kind who don't like too much of aggression when it comes to seating then this is not the motorcycle for you well you'd get a little kind of aggression but uh, i think it's not that much that should dampen your spirits shorter deal base makes those turns more sharper and more quicker oh so there are two more riding modes i won't be able to change the riding mode because i have to be under the speed of 20 to do that let me just try that okay now i'm under scene 20 and there you go off road i don't know why it switched to rain i wanted to be in off road let me just do that again so we have set ourselves an off road so off road is where i can switch off the traction control i can completely switch it off if i'm doing any kind of off road but abs is not completely switchable so abs would still be on but it would not be at the highest point there so in off road mode the abs would be the least there would be some kind of an intrusion but it would be the least kind of intrusion there and with rain the traction would be at the most the 14 liter tank is also nice which kind of holds on to my thighs my thighs sit in between the tank and give me a good premium riding stance talking about the weight of the motorcycle it's around 164 kg plus we get a around 23 to 24 ps of power and 21 nm of torque so the power to weight ratio is pretty good but don't expect it to be very punchy because it's supposed to be a commuter and uh, it's supposed to take you from point a to point b talking about the suspension i felt the front suspension due to the uhds is a little stiff and when it got into some bumps i could really feel the stiff uhds there probably if it had been telescopic then it would have got through with such a situation but obviously you're not going to get the better of both situations wherein uh, with the uhds you get a better riding quality and somewhere you have to compromise with your uh, suspension as tuned to our indian roads the ground clearance is around 165 mm seems to be a little less but i did not have any issues while going over big potholes or over big speed breakers here in pune well though i was riding single there was no pillion the price is also just 1000 more than the earlier model plus you get a lot of features there that have been added to the motorcycle making it pretty value for money well this motorcycle sits in competition directly with the apache rtr 200 i feel both the motorcycles would be a very nice thing to cover on youtube so probably watch my video i would be making a video wherein i'd be shooting both the motorcycles and riding both the motorcycles back to back for letting you all know which one could be better between both of them the motorcycle gives that kind of confidence with decent speeds but when it gets above 100 you kind of feel that kind of air hitting you and doesn't give you that kind of confidence to push push those triple digits so what bajaj has tried to do with the n250 here is it's tried to make a mix between a commuter and a sportier version for a customer who is looking for something that could do the daily plus that could somewhere kind of give that enthusiasm or that sportiness for that 
little bit of a spirited ride. So let me know in the comment section, how did you find the all new 2024 N250? If there is any kind of questions, please feel free to hit me up in the comment section. I would try my best to answer your questions. If there's anything that I have missed, you could also hit it in the comment section. I would appreciate if you could bring that up. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the content, do subscribe, share it with your friends, those who are looking out for the 2024 N250. Thank you guys. Take care of your family. See you from Biker Dad Life. Have a great day. Bye-bye.